The school started in, in around 1982. It started uh, not as a democratic school. Hmm. It's, it, when it started, it was in the, the founder's living room. Hmm. And the students were using a correspondence materials called the American School, oh. which is, it's, it predates online schooling. You, you right. mail them money. They mail you textbooks. They mail you tests. You take the test and, you know, we would tutor them and, and help them with the test. They'd mail the test to Chicago and mm. then they would return a grade and they would have a diploma. It was an accredited mail order school, basically. Hmm. That went on until 1992. In 1992, we were getting too crowded hmm. in Richard's living room. We were really just on top of each other. And there was a lot of kids who wanted to join our school. So we decided it was time to expand. And uh, I won't go into the whole, it's, a, it's an interesting story how we got there. But uh -huh. we ended up deciding to become a democratic school. We were very, very much influenced by Summer, Summer Hill and Sudbury mm -hmm. Valley School. Mm -hmm. And I remember I went away for the summer. When I came back, Richard had a whole stack of books from Sudbury Valley and said, Mo, this is what I've been wanting to do my whole life. This, this school is getting kids into college without grades, without transcripts. Mm -hmm. And so what we did is we, we did two things which made us a democratic school. The first was we made the curriculum optional. Mm -hmm. And the second was we created a school government. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. 